हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू अनदर एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिक लेबोरेटरी दैट इज द एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर फोर एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर फोर इज व्हाट रिएक्शन रेट कंपैरिजन फॉर न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्स्टिट्यूशन रिएक्शन ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक एलाइ फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डू एस एन टू एंड देन आफ्टर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डू एस एन वन ओके सो फर्स्ट थिंग ऑफ दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वट वॉट यू हैव टू डू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल we have to measure the room temperature okay so temperature is 21 okay so what is the room temperature 21 now so you can see some halides are written over here eight halides actually written over here number 1 is n butyl chloride number 2 is uh, n butyl bromide third is secondary butyl bromide fourth is isobutyl bromide fifth is tart butyl chloride sixth is benzyl chloride seventh is allyl bromide and eighth is bromobenzene so we have to perform the experiment for this uh, halides only okay so we are going to perform uh, sn2 first of all so for sn2 what is required um, a 10% 10ml nai solution is required nai in acetone solution is required okay so for that what is required acetone and nai okay these two chemicals are required and we have to prepare the solution in this container okay and what and another uh, things which is required eight test tube for eight halides okay so first we are going to prepare the nai solution so for nai solution as i told uh, 10% 10 ml so 10% 10 ml means 10% 10 ml nai in acetone so that means 1 gram nai in 10 ml acetone so we have to weigh 1 gram nai using weighing machine okay so now we are going to measure 1 gram nai so now we have to make this one zero first of all now we have to transfer the solid nai into the butter paper so So one gram NaI we measured already. Now I am going to transfer this one in the beaker, respective beaker. Now here we have to add 10 ml acetone. Yeah, now any i solution is ready now so what we have to do right now we have to and just cover the upper surface of the container with this thing so so for eight halide eight test tubes are required so these are the eight test tubes so i am going to label this test tube as 1 2 3 4 up to now leveling are completed 
now what we have to do we have to transfer this prepared nai solution in each in each test tube how much 0.5 ml so using this pipette we can measure 0.5 ml of nai this can measure 1 ml only so by taking 1 ml we can fill two test tubes okay so this is a test tube holder we fill each test tube with 0.5 ml nai <coughs> now for the first test tube we have to pour first halide in the first test tube i'm going to add 5 drop of n butyl chloride over inside the test tube and that time immediately we have to on the stopwatch So I already added five drops. Now we have to check whether precipitation comes or not. Okay. So generally, we have to wait four minutes for the for the room temperature. If in between four minute, if we got the precipitation, fine. Otherwise, we have to heat this test tube inside the hot water bath using the test tube holder. and the temperature range should be 45 to 60 degree okay so you can see it's in between the temperature of the water bath is between 60 degree okay so now you can see only 1.2 minutes over still no precipitation comes so i'm still wait 2 minute and i'm shake like this way if it's not showing any precipitation then we have to use this one hot water bath so you can see still no precipitation okay so now we are going to put this one inside the hot water bath using test tube holder so maximum 8 minute we have to wait for a single test tube in between 8 minute if we got that means what 4 minute for cold and 4 minute for hot water bath in between 8 minute if we got the precipitation fine otherwise we have to stop the reaction and we have to switch to the next test tube now something is coming so time is 7.43 second okay at the 7.43 second we got a precipitation inside the test tube so now our experiment for first test tube for first halide completed now we are going to start for the second test tube okay so now we are going to start the experiment for two so this i am going to add over there inside the test tube inside the test tube i am going to add five drops like one 1 2 3 4 5 yeah 29 second of our now solution goes to the trans to opaque from from transparent nails always you have to shake the test tube like this way 
after adding the halide inside the NAI. Yeah, now it started to deposit something inside the test tube. So what is the time now? It's one minute. Now time is one minute. You can see the precipitation over here. Okay, see the precipitation and this is the time, one minute, okay, so we are going, we are going to stop the experiment for second test tube for the second halide, now we are going to start for the third halide, okay, so like the same, same way we have to take third test tube which is already filled with NAI and there we have to we have to add third halide that is butyl bromide okay so now i am going to add 3 into 3 so first second third fourth fifth so same way we have to shake the test tube Now you can see color of the solution is what transparent. Still no changes. It's already one minute. You can see one minute over but no change appear inside the test tube inside the test tube okay see you can time and see over here transparent solution okay still we have to shake the test tube like this way up to 4 minute and then after that we have to attempt hot water bath okay so Four minute completed almost. Now I'm going to put this one in the hot water bath. Yeah, you can find color. Color is changed from transparent to little yellowish. After three point thirty, after four point thirty second, and solution is little bit opaque also. Yeah, it's changed from transparent to opaque and little bit yellowish. So at five thirty three, five thirty three minute. Precipitation arise inside the test tube. It takes little time to settle down. To add the fourth halide into the fourth test tube. First drop, second drop, third drop, fourth, fifth drop. Now you can see the color of the solution inside the test tube is transparent and we have to shake this one like this way like the previous test tubes. So you can see 3 minute 30 second already over but no changes is appeared inside the test tube. So now we have to put this one inside the hot water bath
but 4 minute 30 second yeah precipitation is also comes over here okay so after applying heat we got the precipitation inside the test tube at 4 minute 30 second okay so this i am going to add five i am going to use the fifth test tube and i am going to add the fifth halide in, inside the fifth test tube so one drop two drop three drop four drop fifth drop So, you can see at the time right now 4 minute 4 minute over so no changes still so now I am going to put this one in the hot water bath. It's 7.45 7 minute 45 second over so still no changes appear inside the test tube so that means what almost 8 minute completed. So, we can consider this one as no precipitation, yeah. So, nothing is appear inside the test tube. So, we can consider for the fifth test tube as no precipitation, okay. So, now we are going to perform for sixth. Sixth is what? benzyl chloride i think this one gives the precipitate instantly okay so or this should take less time to give the precipitation so i am going to add this one so first drop second third Fifth. As you can see, the transparentness of the test tube gone little bit. Right now, it's little bit opaque. Now we can consider this one as precipitation. Yeah, something is arise over here. So at one minute eighteen second, we got a precipitation inside the test tube. It takes little time to deposit the things. Okay, so our sixth one is also over. Now we are going to perform seventh one. Seventh is what? Allyl bromide. So I am going to add the seven inside the seven test tube. So first drop, second drop, third, fourth, fifth. So as you can see, instantly uh, precipitation comes when I just add. So you can you can consider for this test tube the precipitation come instantly. So this also over. Okay. So the third last one is the eighth one. As you know, 
eight is bromobenzene. So bromobenzene is not uh, positive for substitution reaction. So that is why I think the eighth test tube should not give any precipitation. Let's try. So I am going to add this one, let it keep over here and we are going to start the preparation of SN1 reaction. So for SN1 what we have to do, we have to prepare another solution that is silver nitrate, silver nitrate solution in ethanol. Okay. So how much silver nitrate is needed for SN1? For SN1, is for SN2, for SN1, we have to prepare 1% AgNO3 solution, 1% 10 ml AgNO3 solution. AgNO3 in ETOH, ethanol. So that means what? We have to take 0 0.1 gram AgNO3 and 10 ml ETOH. Here we have to prepare the AgNO3 solution. For AgNO3, what is required? Silver nitrate, solid silver nitrate, this is the solid silver nitrate and ethyl alcohol. Okay. And we have to measure this ethyl alcohol using this measuring cylinder, which is labeled as ethanol. So over still nothing is appeared inside the test tube. So what do you have to do? We have to put this one inside the water bath. So you can see 7 minute 20 second over still no changes inside the test tube. So we have to wait little bit more. So it's almost over. So eight minutes completed and no changes inside the test tube that means you have to consider this one as no precipitation now like the sn2 again eight test tubes are required so that we already labeled So 0 0.1 gram. Now I am going to transfer this one in the particular beaker which is labeled as HNO silver nitrate. Now here we have to add 10 ml ethanol. So this is the 10 ml ethanol and I put this one over here. Now,
we already transfer EGNO3 solution in each test tube. Now we are going to start the experiment like previous way, like the SN2. So we have to add 1 into 1, 2 into 2, 3 into 3, like this way. Okay. So I am going to start the experiment. So, 1 I am going to add in the first test tube. So, 5 drop first, second, third, fourth, fifth. So, again we have to shake this one like. And we have to wait. 4 minute normal temperature. If we got any precipitation in between this 4 minute, then we have to note the time. Otherwise, we have to use the hot water bath. Now, 4 minute over, I am going to put this one in the hot water bath. So, again, we have to wait 4 minute over here. In between 4 minutes, if you got the precipitation, we have to write, write down the time. Otherwise, after 4 minutes, we have to consider for this, for first halide, SN1 is showing no precipitation. So, you can see the color of the solution is little bit changes from the initial at 7.30 second. Okay? And still no precipitation present, but color is only changed. Yeah, 8 minutes completed, still no PPT, but only the color changed. Okay. So, our first SN1 experiment for first halide completed. Now, we are going to start for second one. So, I am going to add second halide inside the second test tube which already contain silver nitrate solution. First drop, second, third, fourth, fifth. So, I added five drops already over here. Now, we have to check this one. You can see guys, the color of the transparentness of the solution is changed little bit. It, now it is appear little bit opaque and time is nearly 2 minutes. Opaqueness appear only. Now we are going to put it in the hot water bath because 4 minutes over. So now I think precipitate comes. So, time, yeah, you can see the precipitate, okay, and time is 4 minute 28 second. Okay, so at the 4 minute 28 second, we got the precipitation. So, SN1 reaction for second halide is also over. So, we are going to perform now for third halide. So, again I am going to add 3 into 3. So, 
फर्स्ट ड्रॉप सेकेंड थर्ड फोर्थ फिफ्थ या कलर इज चेंजेस इंस्टेंटली आफ्टर फिफ्टीन सेकेंड या प्रेसिपिटेशन कम्स सो प्रेसिपिटेशन कम्स इन केस ऑफ थर्ड हेलाइट फॉर द थर्ड हेलाइट सेकेंडरी ब्यूटल ब्रोमाइड एट फोर्टी सिक्स सेकेंड ओके नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फॉर फोर्थ हेलाइट so first second third fourth fifth yeah here also transparent is it changes into opaque okay now we can see precipitation comes in for third fourth test tube also and the time is 1 minute 14 second now i am going to start for fifth one as you can see it's change instantly into the give instantly precipitation okay so you have to consider sn one reaction for the for fifth test tube that means for third butyl chloride it gives a precipitation instantaneously now i'm going to perform for sixth one Yeah, precipitation appears inside the test tube at twenty-three second. So, first drop, second, third, fourth, fifth, and. Here also precipitation comes at thirteen second. Okay. Now we are going to perform the last one, that is the eighth one for bromo benzene. Three minute forty second. still it colorless so we have to attempt now hot water bath so we have to put this one in the hot water bath once for minute over so as you can see it's 7 minute 25 second still no changes inside the test tube so we have to wait 
so as 8 minute completed still nothing is present inside the test tube so that means we have to consider that one as no precipitation so we have to consider this one as no precipitation so all the eight test tubes all the for all the eight halide we have already performed sn2 and then after that sn1 so and we got some precipitation for some halides so what you have to do with the data that you can get a instruction from your respective faculty so that's all thank you students